May 29th, 2022. It's been a little over a year since I deleted social media. Some people in the comments have been asking me for my thoughts on the experience. Before I get started, let me summarize it for you. It took me 14 months before I realized it had been over a year. That's how little it affected me, or at least how much I got accustomed to the experience. Recently, I've noticed in a way I am more satisfied with less. I've noticed I'm way more satisfied with less. I don't even have the urge to go window shopping anymore. I just walk right by. I put on the same outfits a lot, and my outfits are simple. I'm just one of a thousand people walking through the streets right now. No one's going to notice that I wore this exact outfit three days ago. I'm no longer comparing myself to others, and I only tend to see my face when it's in a mirror, rather than 50 times a day when I would used to take a Snapchat. When you look at yourself less, you stop thinking of your body as a means to show off, and you end up judging yourself a whole lot less. My body is serving as my transport to get from A to B, my power to learn more and digest my food and have love for others. It's not about the way an outfit shows off my figure or if my thighs are skinny enough yet. I've come to appreciate my body for the daily work it does to keep me running. This was a big deal for me. Now, when I do look at myself, it's with more joy and love for myself than before. The freckles I once hated may come off and on the trend list, but I've grown to love them either way. There's a lot of idolizing of mental health struggles online, and the most recent being ADHD. As much as it frustrates me to hear the whole world cry wolf as soon as a random TikToker diagnoses them with the current trend, I do think social media has affected our ability to focus. After a year offline, I've noticed more when the people around me are distracted on their phones as we chat. And I see more and more people checking their phones for texts, mid-sentence, or losing the train of thought. It's a lot less work for me to write a journal entry now, or read a book, as I have way less distractions. My mind is finally at peace. A big reason people are scared to lose social media is the fear of distancing themselves from their friends. I remember thinking, if I didn't know what my friends were up to every single day, I would be out of the loop and potentially lose them as friends. I can confirm the opposite has happened. I now make way more effort to go and physically see my friends, and I'm more intent on listening to our conversations without the distractions. It's nice to hear a friend tell a story without immediately thinking, ah yeah, I already saw that on your Instagram story. In general, I'm a happier person now, not pressured by online trends and social cues, but more so listening to what I want and what is good for me right now. Deleting social media didn't mean I left the internet. I'm not a caveman, and I still keep up to date with the general news and pop culture. But I consume a lot less of the internet noise than I used to, that's for sure. However, a great way to spend time online is by furthering your skills or learning something new on Skillshare the sponsor of today's video. I've been a long time user of Skillshare and originally joined two years ago to learn how to use Adobe to edit and create powerful videos. Recently, I've been watching Alex Gabriel Lainouf's course, Cooking Like a Chef, five fundamental skills for kitchen success, to become more skilled in the kitchen and have more hobbies offline. I really liked how Alex showed us the ways to make leftovers exciting as this can help reduce food waste and give you a tasty end result. If you want to join Skillshare, the first 1000 people to click the link will receive a 1 month free trial of Skillshare so you can try it out for yourself. I think I can take it one step further though. I would like to try and minimize my online time even further. Maybe by taking a week off my phone at a time if I can. I have to ask. Would you like to take more time offline?